So, back to it. This welding table, just to get to the good stuff, is two feet by four feet with a seven and a half inch shelf on it for the cylinders. It sits 40 inches tall. Um, I didn't want to make it the same height as my workbench because I wanted whatever I was welding to be up closer to my chest just so I wasn't like bent over my workbench the whole time. So that's why I made it sit a little bit taller than my workbench. Uh, another thing, this table is... Actually here, I got the easier way. This table is 3 16 gauge. That is too thin. Um, and I'll show you why. So, these clamps, when I torque them down, they, this back thing twists way back. So, 3 16 isn't good enough. There's not enough shoulder, there's not enough thickness in that, uh, like a hole, there's not enough collar. <clears throat> to really hold this like it should. So I think this needs to be a quarter inch, at least. Or you could do two 3 16 plates and throw them on top of each other, whichever is cheaper. What else do we got? The holes. The holes are... I'm just gonna tell you right now, the holes are 5 8 holes and uh, this video could go on a lot longer, so I'm just going to skip straight ahead to the finished product. I'm going to show you what I finished drawing up in CAD, and we'll go over it from there. If you want to uh, take a look at the video, I will actually create an additional video with the whole process that I took to draw this up in AutoCAD. So if you're interested in learning how this whole program works and the program that I used to build this, then Stay tuned, subscribe, hit the notifications, and when this video goes live, you guys will be able to watch it get built. But if not, just stick around and I'll show you this finished product and you can get the uh, free welding table that I promised I would send your way. So yeah, here it is. Well, here she is, everyone. This is the welding table giveaway. This is the welding table that I designed for everyone to essentially get for free if they want. Uh, it's not totally free because you're actually going to have to pay for the material to build this thing. But uh, what you're getting here is a table that would have probably cost you a few thousand dollars or more. So the way that I have it designed is this table is 24 inches deep by 48 inches wide. So it's a two by four table. And then this arm that sits here is designed to be, it's about 33 inches long and it swings up. So this is a solid fixture table. And then you're going to put some, uh, I think they're called bullet hinges. You're just going to weld some bullet hinges into here. And then this component will actually bolt to the side of the table. So if at any point you want to bolt it onto the back side or the front side, it's up to you. You can bolt it anywhere you want. And you got a nice little uh, addition there. That's something that I wish I had put on my table. So it was something that uh, I figured I'd throw on this table for everyone else. Additionally is... While you're using a fixture table, if you're building anything, you have a tendency to drop stuff through uh, these holes. So what I've done is I've actually, uh, I made a drawer, a drawer that slides out. So if you want, you can get this drawer made and you can have uh, easy access. So it's one inch deep and it is the essentially the entire width of the table barring the width of the legs here. So it is uh, 48 minus two and two. So it's 44 inches wide, just about this uh, drawer. So yeah, um, I will have to spec it for uh, the sliders here on the side. So all I have to do is modify the width of it and yeah, it'll be good. But uh, this drawer, like that's a wicked idea. I don't know how many times I was dropping shit through and then I just lose it. Additionally, is I would have my welder here on this uh, shelf. 
and all of the grinding dust and all the dirty stuff from here would fall down onto my gloves and all my welding equipment. So by adding this, it's essentially it captures all the dirt and the dust and the, all the gross stuff. So that's a cool little addition that I wished I had for mine. Now this uh, shelf right here, the way that it's it made is it's actually just a formed shelf that kind of captures the four legs on either side so and then you just put a one by one across the back a one by one across here here and across the front and then it keeps it nice and rigid so you can really put this at any height you want so what i suggest is you figure out how tall your welder is and then you uh put it in there height wise according to where your uh, welder sits so mine my welder my lincoln 210 mp is about 15 inches tall so it sits about right here so that's kind of the actually it sits just a little bit higher than that just so you can access that drawer there you go so mine sits about right there and really you can assemble this so depending on how you want your gas cylinders on the right side or on the left side you can put your drawers on the front or the back it doesn't matter you can access it from either side and then same thing this will just be on the other side so let's skip to yeah so we've got this top drawer we've got this first shelf for your welder or however you want to set it up and then we've got a third or sorry a second drawer and this is also uh here let's spin around here this drawer is also one inch deep and then we have uh, a couple two inch deep drawers both these guys here oh my my 3d program is starting to glitch out i think it's because i've got so many uh video recordings going on right now so yeah three drawers right here another drawer here and if you wanted to you could even get more of these uh little supports these shelves uh cut and you could put as many drawers on this thing as you wanted to so this thing really could double up as a toolbox and I'm kind of thinking I might do that for mine. I might actually just get rid of the one that I have in my shop, uh, fire sale that one, get rid of it real quick, and then build another one of these. So I'm loving it. I think it's sweet. Now, when you come over here, this little uh, this little cylinder rack, it's just a seven inch deep shelf that is the entire uh, width of the table. And these are two 125 cubic foot, uh, welding cylinders in here so I spec them out online and they're all about seven inches in diameter so you can fit three in here but with MIG and TIG I only need two for myself so I end up having just this extra spot for random stuff that I want to throw down there so yeah that is the walk around on the the welding table so here why don't we go like this and I'll show you how I have this built let's hide this so there are gussets there's a lower portion right here this one right here has bolt holes in it so you could actually bolt this tabletop to the legs once you have all your shelving and everything figured out you got your center spine gusset and then you got your three uh, horizontal gussets that sit in there oh where did that tabletop go come on now there it is so yeah I'll show you what I'm talking about here when I'm talking about bolting this thing. So this portion right here, you put a 5 8 bolt in the back side of this thing sticking out. You weld it onto this plate first and then you weld this plate onto the leg. And then this bolt will come up and it will actually stick through here. And then you actually thread on your 5 8 bolt uh, nut and then it the tabletop can be replaced as many times as you want without taking apart the rest of the table so you can build as much crap on here as you want and scuff this up and scratch it up and then when you're ready for a new one you throw a new one on i mean this is probably the most expensive portion of the whole table this is uh i have this all specked out as quarter inch steel i built three sixteenths for mine and i was not happy it still did uh kind of go a little wonky and then these uh these holes they didn't have enough shoulder on them to really grab the uh fixtures uh like the vices and stuff like that the vice clamps so i spec this one out using 
quarter inch tabletop. So if you're going to build this thing, you got to do quarter inch tabletop. And then these drawers are all 1 16th thick. Same thing with this. One six, actually, I think I may have made this 1 8th, maybe. Here, let's figure that out. That is 1 16th. So the supports on the side for the shelves are 1 16th. The drawers are 1 16th. Uh, all the shelves are 1 16th, etc. Everything all the way through there. And I believe I have this designed to be made out of 1 16th. Because once it's formed, it's really, really strong. Um, these are 5 inch casters. And with a 5 inch caster, your work surface up here is about 40 inches off the ground, which is a really comfortable work height. Um, but again, if you guys want to modify that, all you got to do is get your legs cut at a different length. So I'm going to assemble this into essentially a do-it-yourself uh, PDF, and then I'm going to attach all the DXF cut files for you guys. And then if anyone wants one of these, just let me know. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, please, and we'll uh, yeah, no, we'll make some more cool stuff. I got I was just recently sponsored by Onshape, which is the program that I'm using to build this. So the more people that uh, would like to use AutoCAD, I can help you do that, and I can hook you up. And uh, yeah, it's done a lot for me. It's given me a lot of ability here that I didn't know I had before, and I've been able to create some something pretty cool. So I am giving away this welding table, the plans anyways, and uh, I would like to see as many people use it as possible because it is pretty badass. Check, check that out. Look at that. That is a two-foot deep drawer that is almost four feet wide. And it's formed, so it's going to be super strong. I mean, if we wanted to, we could put some uh, ribs on the bottom side of these, but I don't think they'll need it. I think they might have a little bit of oil can in them, like they'll pop or whatever, but uh, they're going to be pretty strong. So, yeah, get out there, everyone. Uh, build stuff and have fun. Thanks. Bye. All right. I saw an error in my ways when I was watching my video on repeat there. So these keys were not centered, which was driving me nuts while I was watching the video. But I've gone and corrected that. So those, let's hide those. Those are now in the correct spots. So they are even. Oh, that was very, very frustrating to watch myself talk about how awesome this thing was and have these things not be perfect. So they are perfect now. And this table is, look how good this looks. Oh man, this looks so good. I wish I had not already built one because I would have just built this one. Let's just go back to this assembly. Make sure that's good. Yep, there we go. Hide this. Boom. Yep. They're back in the spots where they need to be. All right. Okay. Thanks for watching, folks. And uh, like I said, please uh, reach out, subscribe to my channel. You can find me on Instagram and all that good stuff so uh, we can chat more. And if you got any good ideas about this table to make it better, or if you just want a copy of the files and everything that you need to make one, just reach out and we'll make it happen.